Behold, I sent thee forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be as wise as serpents. Welcome to the awakening. My name is Caleb Leo. Today I welcome you to the last episode on this very series of the wisdom of Jesus. Now today I want to bring to comparison how Jesus intends for us to bring the attributes of the snake and that of the dove and combine them to make the perfect sheep that will survive the wolves. The wolves can be anything. It can be coronavirus. It can be hunger, it can be the trouble we face now, the lockdown, whatever challenge it is, that can be a wolf. Jesus said he has sent you forth a sheep in the midst of these wolves, so you need to overcome them. Do well to subscribe to this channel and you can follow me at BST Caleb Leo on social media and then go to calebleo.com to check out Caleb Leo podcast, Caleb Leo TV, Caleb Leo stores, Hope series and lead. Now let's look at what Jesus said. He said, Behold, I sent you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be as as wise, first of all, as snake. I said the snake defends its territory. So this is the snake. It defends this territory. This is the snake's territory. The snake defends it. How does it defend? By attack. In football, the best way to defend is to attack. So the snake defends this territory. Now he goes on to say, be as harmless as the dove. Now the dove is peaceful. The dove won't attack, it won't harm you, it's peaceful. The dove's mission is to ensure that you are not harmed. So it's just saying, defend your territory, but don't harm anybody. It means, why defend your territory? Don't do anything that will hurt the other person. Don't attack the other person unnecessarily. Even when you're going to attack, ensure that you don't hurt the next person's feelings. Uh, like possible, you don't, you don't, you don't make things difficult for them by maybe you, you go to the store and then you take everything. You take without caring about what others will get. Now that is you being harmful. You're not going in the first place, is you not being wise. You're not attacking, you're not defending your territory, you're not providing food for your household. Then you go in and taking everything, not keeping for others, is you being harmful. Now you driving recklessly, is you being harmful. You going getting home on time, is you being wise. You get it. Now keeping social distancing, is being wise. Being good to people, is being harmful. So what Jesus is saying is, do what you can to defend yourself and ensure that while doing that, you don't hurt the next person. You don't harm people. You don't hurt people's feelings. You, don't, you are not the cause for someone else's downfall. Ensure that the actions you take won't pull the next person down as you keep your family up. No, take both along. He said you should carry both along as much as possible. Be at peace with all men and ensure you provide for your family, ensure you defend your territory, but be at peace with all men. You see, this boat must go together for you to be a sheep in the midst of wolves, for you to survive. A sheep that is not wise will run into trouble and will be devoured. Then a sheep that is harmful to other sheep will lose its identity as a sheep. So that will become a goat. Because now you are harmful, you become harmful, you're no more a sheep. So just saying, don't be swallowed up and don't turn yourself to a goat. Don't be carried away by what you're doing and don't let circumstances to, 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 to chase you out. Ladies and gentlemen, this is, these are difficult times for everybody. God is making things easy. He has said that when men say there's a casting down, we will say there is a lifting up. 
Now, in the process of this, we must be our brother's keeper. We must defend one another. We must aid one another. We must assist one another. But while doing that, we mustn't let our guards down. We mustn't keep away from social distancing. We mustn't protect ourselves. We must stay safe. We must stay home as much as possible. So we have to do both. Care for those they need it and defend our household. Ensure that we have food stored in the house and ensure that others have food as well. You mustn't do, like, they both must be balanced. Don't take any for granted. Then you will keep your identity as the sheep and you will be effective and you will defend yourself before the wolves. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so glad you followed up through this series. We're going to be having a new series next week. But before then, do well to subscribe to this channel so we can effectively reach out to you more better. Now you can go to kalebdo.com so you can get a hold of all our resources at kalebdo.com slash tv, kalebdo.com slash podcast, kalebdo.com slash stores, kalebdo.com slash hope, kalebdo.com slash lead. You can take a hold of all our resources out there. And then on social media, you can follow me at PST Caleb. But please, don't forget to subscribe. Subscription is free. Subscribe so we can be able to reach out to more people like you and you will get to know when we are up and live. Thank you very much for being a part uh, of this very series. Please do have to comment below. I, I want to see your comments as well.